What's going on guys, Mix it here, back again for another video. And today guys, we are doing a review video. And today guys, I'm reviewing the Gordon's Non-Alcoholic Gin. But so you can get this if you do dry dry, it's perfect. I can't wait to try it. So the Gordon's Non-Alcoholic Gin, it cost me £12 from Morrison's. I thought that was a bargain and I can't wait to try it. So I will be comparing three things on it. So design, price and taste. That's my three most important things when doing a review. So it's your typical Gordon's bottle, really. It's got 750ml. It's got 750ml. I do like the design of Gordon. I prefer the old design that they used to have. But I still think it's quite a nice design. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. So price. So £12 this cost me from Morrison's. I thought that was a pretty much a bargain. I really like the price. So it's £9 for me. So we'll take the lid off. Because if you have a quick smell. Because it has that familiar gin smell, the juniper berries, and that's what you're looking for. It smells beautiful. Because so I will be comparing against Plymouth Gin, which is 41%. This is 0% alcohol free. So we'll get two glasses and we'll put them to my as I do a comparison. So the first thing we'll be doing, guys, is the Gordon's alcohol free gin. Right, how does it taste? Because uh, hopefully I have that familiar gin taste. That's refreshing, that's beautiful. Mmm. I could actually drink this straight up all by itself like that on the rocks. That's beautiful, it's because I can certainly see a few mocktails with this. This is a great base, and that tastes beautifully. I think that's a 9 out of 10 for me, it's because I really, really enjoy that. So now I'll be doing a taste note comparison against actual gin, 41% Plymouth gin. There it is, that, that beautiful sour taste. Because say the non alcoholic, it's a little bit sweeter than natural gin like that. But with gin, it's got that bittery taste to it. It's got a juniper smell, a nice smell. But it's a little bit different. It's a lot sweeter than non alcoholic version. And I'd certainly recommend it, I would. But because say you won't be let down. Because say it's not. The tasting notes, it's not your usual gin taste, like that sour taste. Very nice. So like, usually you wouldn't drink a gin by itself, but the non-alcoholic, but the non-alcoholic version, you could, this is a lot more sweeter than actual gin. Really, really, really nice. I'm really, really impressed with what Gordon's have done. This is very, very nice. So the difference is, it's a lot more sweet, like I'm saying, like that. It's got the usual botanicals in it. It's got that nice juniper smell. But it just taste, it tastes a little bit different from your normal gin like that. It's a bit more sweet than non-alcoholic version, but I really, really like it like that. Don't forget me wrong, I do like gin. I do like the sourness of it, especially with tonic, a nice classic G in T. But I can't wait to make a mocktail version, a non-alcoholic version of a gin and tonic using a Gordon's mm. non using Gordon's alcohol-free gin. Because I really, really like it, everything about it. So. So design, 8, price, 9, taste, 9, I really like it. It's because I think if you're a massive gym fan and you love the sourness, you'd be a little bit disappointed as it didn't have that sourness with it, with the gin. With sweetness, that's what I'm tasting. That's why it tastes a bit sweet. It has sweetness in this. Because then you can tell as well. I think if you're a massive gym fan, you might be a little bit disappointed, but I... I like it, I really, really like it, and I think you should try it. Let me know, have you ever had an alcohol-free gin? What do you guys think of it? Are you a massive gin fan? Do let me know. But for me, overall, I've got to give it a 9 out of 10 like that. I think it's 
absolutely banging. I think it's perfect. I think others have done a banging job with this because I think they've absolutely nailed it. And there's definitely a market for the non-alcoholic, for the non-alcoholic industry like Gordon's, and I'm sure plenty more brands will get a ball like that. So I can't wait to try Guinness. I've not found one yet, Guinness, as I'm waiting to review that and taste it, Guinness. And really well compare that against actual Guinness. I can't wait to find one eventually. As I'm still looking for a Copper Bear trop uh, Tropical one as well, the non alcoholic version of that. But that is Gordon's. It's going to say, I do recommend you buy it. It's going to say, do let me know, guys. Do you prefer actual gin or the non alcoholic version? Do they taste alike? To me, there is difference there, but I like it. It's going to say, I'm not, I'm not a massive, massive, massive fan of gin like that, the sourness. But I do like it. And. That's my opinion, 9 out of 10, what do you guys think? This is my review of Gordon's Alcohol Free Gin. Do let me know in the comments below what you think. But I've been mixed. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow. And if you are doing dry January, I would recommend this to make a non-alcoholic gin and tonic or many or many of your favourite gin cocktails like that as well. And I will see you guys for my next mocktail video. Cheers.